Are you excited for the Remnant 2 DLC? We always get excited about getting our hands on a new content drop for Remnant, and even though it is a bit weird to cover this, as it doesn't feel as popular as it should be considering how much fun this game actually is, we personally love it. Luckily, with every new content drop for Remnant, there's a new chance for more people to give the game a go. Especially considering you can play this with friends, and Gunfire Games have recently announced that the second paid DLC is on the way. After the Awakened King DLC dropped late last year, it introduced new gear, classes, and boss fights, so in this video, we wanted to go over everything that will be included in the new upcoming DLC, The Forgotten Kingdom, so you can get ready for it. Let us know if you're planning to jump in, and why you think Remnant isn't more popular than it is currently. The actual DLC itself will be called The Forgotten Kingdom and it's launching very soon on April 23rd for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series and PC. The DLC will cost $9.99 and you don't need to have purchased the previous DLCs to access it as you can buy it as a standalone DLC or if you missed The Awakened King then you can grab it for $24.99 which will be included in a discounted bundle that will get you all three DLCs for the game. It is funny that this whole DLC is only $9.99 but in some games you're paying just that much for one skin. If you're wondering how much playtime to expect from this DLC, we think you could get a minimum of three to six hours if you go through it a single time, as from our experience with the previous Awaken King DLC, we feel it's probably going to be a similar length. Obviously, your time will be different depending on how you play and how much you farm and redo the actual content, which is usually worth doing because even the Awakened King DLC had some really cool weapons to unlock. But here's the official description for the DLC from Gunfire Games that gives us a better idea of what to expect. In this upcoming DLC for Remnant 2, we're going to piece together the forgotten history of the lost tribe of Yisha, I think that's how you say it, as you attempt to quell the vengeful wrath of the ancient stone spirit called Ledusa. We'll navigate the lingering traces of torment, treachery, and death that haunt the land's once proud ziggurats. As Ledusa's living stone wanders the crumbling remnants of an ancient civilization in search for fresh blood. It's a brand new storyline that will have us uncover the secrets of the Lost Tribe by exploring a mysterious new area in the world of Yisha. In this new location, we can traverse new dungeons, acquire new powerful gear, including a new archetype called the Invoker, but also meet unexpected allies and face new threats in our quest to return some semblance of peace to the Forgotten Kingdom. It is cool that we are heading to Yisha as it definitely feels like there was a lot left unexplored from the base game, and it does have a very cool aesthetic with the tribes that inhabit this part of the world. However, it would also be nice to see Gunfire Games introduce new areas on new worlds with completely new themes, rather than revisiting older areas that we've already been grinding in for hours on end. If it was a completely new area, it would just be a bit more fresh. But of course, one of the biggest things that's being introduced in the DLC is the brand new class archetype, and this time we're getting the Invoker. We don't have a lot of information on this at the time of making this video, but the developers have said they'll be releasing a breakdown on what the class will be soon, and the official description of it says that the Invoker draws strength from the nature spirits of Yisha, and this new archetype can harness the mystic power of the jungle. So it's going to be super interesting to see exactly what this class does and how it plays, and during a recent interview from PC Gamer with one of the developers, they actually gave a hint that it could be a bit more of an enchantment class, where they said, the most that we can say about the new archetype is that it's a class that you can use to benefit builds that rely heavily on skill usage. This definitely sounds like it could go in several different ways, such as adding damage buffs to attacks, adding status effects, or heavily focusing on reducing skill cooldowns, only time will tell. But the new trailer did show off a ton of new things that are appearing in this DLC as well. If you are a fan of new weapons, which why wouldn't you be if you're playing Remnant, then you'll be happy to hear that there are a bunch of them teased in this new trailer. One in particular that caught our eye was this staff. As you know, we do love to make some more melee focused builds, particularly with 2-6 playing as the challenger class for the majority of our playthrough. And we didn't really get to use the staff type of melee weapons in the base game too much, so it's really cool to see that one will be added in with the bonus of having a lightning enchantment on it. It's also really cool to see an awesome looking crossbow that we can see the player holding. We don't actually get to see this one in action though, so there isn't any indication of where we'll be getting it, but from the design it looks like it packs a real punch. We can also see the player wearing a mask that resembles the character on the key art, which is pretty cool and we can't wait to get this ourselves. But talking about that key art, we can also glimpse at this awesome looking rifle that the character is using, and if it's anything like the Awakened King DLC, we 
we should be able to find and use this ourselves as well. We can also glean from the trailer that there will be navigation and traversal challenges, as in that trailer we can see the player jumping across platforms with saws on them, which will be exciting to do and reminds us a bit of Indiana Jones. So we definitely have some awesome new content to look forward to in Remnant 2, and it's exciting times ahead for any fans as this DLC does drop soon. But if you did miss the DLC trailer, then here you can watch it and enjoy it for yourself. I have searched this jungle high and low. And what did I find? I'd learned of the lost tribe's fate and the ancient power that sealed it. The living stones. Such power. My brethren. I am so close to the truth. I will not kill. 